Hey, Don here. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of doing this myself, but I got an email from Adam Atkins, and he looked up what I should have looked up in the Ruckman's Reference Bible under Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Duh, why didn't I look this up? Well, that's why some of you are helping me out out there. We're a group. Uh, this is Dr. Rockman's commentary on um, Romans 10, 13, on confessing with your mouth. <clears throat> uh, that is what causes a panic in hell and a celebration in heaven. God either told the truth or he didn't. According to Breaker, he didn't. Um, if you call upon his name for salvation, ding, 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 as found in verse 9 and 10, he saves you whether you know it or not. <clears throat> Rob, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> if you called upon his name as found in the passage and he did not save you, then he lied. So somebody is lying. Yeah, they are. Several people. So somebody is lying. Uh, if you doubt your you doubt your salvation after you have called upon his name either you or him do you really have to guess which one and do you really have to guess which one is right or wrong our group or the flaky group out there the believe only group the the have a a, uh, a funny feeling in your belly that group, well, you just get a uh, a realization of what happened, and now you're saved. You got an epiphany, and now you're saved. No, no, you got to call upon the name of the Lord. Well, anyways, thanks, uh, Adam Atkins. Uh, I should have looked this up myself a long time ago.